everyone and happy to see you here at Make Money Guide. What comes to your mind first when you hear the word debt? Probably not very good things like debt hole recovery, poverty, lack of money. The richest people of the world are always saying, avoid debts, it won't make you rich. And this is true because there are debts which make your life very difficult and you can start earning money just to get rid of those debts. However, many people keep on forgetting that there are good debts and bad debts. There certainly is an argument to be made that no debt is good debt, but borrowing money and taking on debt is the only way many people can afford to purchase big ticket items like homes and cars. While such loans usually are justifiable and bring value to the person taking on the debt, there is another end to the spectrum that involves taking on debt through careless spending on a credit card. While it's easy to differentiate between these two extremes, determining whether or not debt is good or bad more often involves a deeper analysis if specific circumstances. If you want to know the difference between good and bad debt, just keep on watching. In this video, you will find information about the difference between good debt and bad debt, and we'll know how to avoid some mistakes and what can help you become rich. So stay to the end of the video because you just can't miss this useful information. Good debt. A good debt is a debt which has only a positive impact on your overall financial position. This is more about investment in your financial future. Good debt should leave you better off in the long term and should not have negative impact on your overall financial position. Usually good debts have a clear and specific reason for taking it out and a realistic plan for paying it back and allows you to clear the debt quickly as possible on a series of regular and affordable payments. Good debt is exemplified in the old adage, it takes money to make money. There are a few notable things worth going into debt for. 1. Education Student Loan Education is the greatest investment which person can make. People graduated from universities get paid more than non-graduates. Better educated workers are more likely to be employed in a good paying jobs and tend to have an easier time finding new opportunities should the need arise. This investment is likely to pay for itself real fast, almost within just a few years of the newly educated worker entering the workforce. To maximise the value of taking on debt for an education degree programs must be chosen carefully. If there's no career path or little income to be earned from the degree you pursue, your student loans can quickly turn into bad debt, so you need to think properly before making such a decision. 2. Mortgage This type of debt is definitely a good debt. A mortgage is a good debt because it will enable you to purchase a home to live in. It is always better to invest in your own place to live in and moreover the monthly mortgage payments could be cheaper than rent. Once that mortgage is paid off, that home will be a big financial asset, which is likely to grow in value over time. Mortgages still remain one of the most successful ways for millions of Americans to build a relatively safe investment in the form of home equity, but it requires an understanding of how much one can borrow, as well as a solid grasp of the home market and the time you buy. Talking about real estate, there is also a variety of ways to make money on it. On the residential front, a simpler strategy often involves buying a house and living in it for a few decades before selling it at a profit. Residential real estate also can be used to generate income by taking in a broader or renting out the entire residence. Commercial real estate also can be an excellent source of cash flow and capital gains for investors. 3. Small Business Ownership A loan to help you develop your own business can also be a good debt as long as you have a sensible and realistic business plan. This is a great investment as if your business does well, it will end up being worth more than the loan you originally took out. Making money is one of the main reasons to start a small business, with being your own boss also a positive result of the endeavour. Your earnings potential can be directly improved by your willingness to work hard, which explains why investing in your business is always a good idea. With a bit of luck, you can turn your drive and ambition into a self-sustaining enterprise and perhaps, down the line, an initial public offering IPO, that results in major wealth. Like education, that also comes with risks. Many small businesses fail, but your chances for success are greater if choosing to work in a field you are passionate and knowledgeable about. So if you're sure about your abilities and efforts, it is always up to you whether to make it successful or not. Bad debt. This type of debt is familiar to you. Credit cards, impulse purchases, luxury holidays or fancy cars. Bad debts are those that drain your wealth, are not affordable and offer no real prospect of paying for themselves in the future. This type of debt is absolutely opposite to a good one. It is no realistic repayment plan and you almost can't afford to borrow the money. For example, you aren't sure you'll be able to make the monthly repayments. In other words, if it won't go up in value or generate income, you shouldn't go into debt to buy it. Some particularly notable items related to bad debt include 1. Luxury cars. New cars always lose their value and if you lost your job for example and you couldn't keep up the repayments, you might end up with a loan for more than you could sell a car for. That means you'd have no clue about an outstanding debt and interest to pay. New cars cost a lot of money. While you may need a vehicle to get yourself to work and to run errands to make up everyday life, paying interest on car purchase is simply a waste of money. Some people are so obsessed with luxury lifestyle making that they are ready to go into debt just to feed their ego. Buyers who insist on living beyond their means and financing a new car should look for a loan with little or no interest. 
While you still be spending a large amount of money on something that eventually depreciates until it's worthless, at least you won't be paying interest on it. 2. Fancy clothes and other goods and services. There's no need to spend all your money on brand clothes if you can't afford it. Everyone wants to look amazing, but remember that clothes are worth less than half of what consumers pay to purchase them. To look good, you don't need Versace logo on your shirt. All you need is comfortable clothes, which look good. As well, expensive vacations can be a trip of a lifetime, but it is best avoided if it is accompanied by a lifetime of debt. Instead of going into debt, try and save up first, if necessary working your plan so you can take a holiday but one you can afford. The same with restaurants, groceries and gasoline. Every dollar spent in interest on those terms is money that could have been used more wisely elsewhere. 3. Credit Cards Credit cards are one of the worst forms of bad debt. The interest rates charged are often significantly higher than the rates on consumer loans, and the payment schedules are arranged to maximise costs for the consumer. The best thing you can do is to live the life you can affect. With a credit card, it is tempting to borrow and pay the expensive purchases. Fashionable clothes, luxury vacations, regular taxi rides or expensive restaurant dinners. The best way to avoid debt whole is not to use a credit card on such emotional purchases. Once you have established that money you want to borrow is a good debt, you need to work out exactly how much to borrow and how you're going to pay it back. Also, before borrowing money, you need to make sure you have found the cheapest way as possible. It will be comfortable for you to afford the monthly repayments, and borrowing this money improved my finances in the long run. Borrowing more than you need without a plan for paying it back can swiftly turn a good debt bad. In addition, it is important to remember that borrowing a debt is a greater responsibility, and you have to be serious about the decision you made. You also have to understand the risks that could happen if things go wrong, and understand all the terms and conditions associated with borrowing this money. We hope that this useful was interesting video. Thanks for watching. For watching more interesting money making videos, make sure you tune in to Make Money Guide.